Salam from Kiva. Today we stepped out early in the morning at around 5.15 or 5.30 and we are out to explore this fortified city of Kiva. Kiva, if you don't know, is one of the oldest cities in all of Central Asia. This one specifically dates back to 2500 years ago. And this entire fortified city is actually retained just as it was built back in the day, including this very beautiful turquoise blue tile tower behind us, which is called the Kalta Menor. So today our plan is to go and explore the little sites here and there before the big hordes of tourists come. And also, uh, one important thing to note is if you buy the ticket to come to this place, it costs 150,000 som, but the ticket is only required if you want to enter inside any of the museums or buildings. So if you don't want to, you can explore this entire old city, which is actually a big open air museum for free. And this entire city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So this behind me is the Kalta Minaret, one of the most iconic monuments here inside Kiva Old Town. It is right in front of this madrasa, which is also the Orient Star Hotel, so you can actually come and stay there. This minaret was supposed to be one of the tallest of its kind here in Central Asia. But unfortunately, uh, the King Amin Khan was killed just before you know it got to this stage. That is why this minar remains unfinished and the original height of 110 meters was never achieved. The minaret though is still very much beautiful because of its blue tiling and intricate artwork. It's like incredibly beautiful. But what we like most is how its shape is so unique and different. Kalta means short. So Kalta Minor means the short minaret. And this is what it looks like. So this Kalta Minor is actually right in front of the entrance that you see behind me here. This is the north gate of ancient Kala, which is also known as the inside of a fortified town. So the fortress is called Ichan Kala or Ichan Kuila. And Kuila, as you can already notice, is very similar to how we call fortresses back in India. This all has like a Persian influence and Kila means fort. So this gate here uh, has the ticketed barricade system so you have to come through that and if you come during the day you will have to pay a ticket to enter here, if you're staying inside the fortress then you don't have to pay for a ticket ticket is required to visit other attractions so now we're gonna walk through the city and then get some more pictures so when Namit had come here five years ago he had shown me some photos i could not place where which city which monument was but this kalta minar was one of my favorite and I had to come to Uzbekistan just to see this town. Usually people don't use the word cute for any temples or mosques or even buildings, but this is very cute for me. It's short and cute. It's uh, short and plumpy. Just like me. So typically this fortress opens up at about 8 a.m. or so when all the monuments gates are open and then by 9 o'clock you see hordes of tourists so if you come here probably around 6 you pretty much get the whole place to yourself it's almost unbelievable especially if you do not want to go inside any of the monuments and you want to enjoy the town just from the outside just like how we are doing I think early morning is the best time you can yeah and also in the evening because yesterday evening we saw this place beautifully lit up we didn't vlog it but tonight we will and we'll show you what it was like it's really nice at night And this one here is actually called the Juma Mosque or the Friday Mosque. So it's one of these very important prayer houses here inside Kiva Old Town, which apparently has over a thousand pillars and enough space for 5,000 people to actually sit here and pray, which is incredible. You, earlier they used to let people go up there, but now I guess they don't. This tower in front of me is called the Islam Poja Minaret. It is the tallest minaret in all of Kiva and it is very beautiful because of two things. One, unlike the Kalta Minor, this is less green. It is more sepia toned, so you'll find a lot of brown. And contrastingly, there are certain concentric circles of turquoise blue and deep indigo blue, which make the whole appearance look suddenly so different. 
the minaret itself has a viewing spot on top where you can climb and see all of uh, the Ichen Kala as well as parts of modern Kiva. Right now, it is 7 o'clock in the morning and we are already starting to feel a bit of a sweat. And it's during the daytime, the temperature goes till 45 degrees. So we've spent all of yesterday just being inside the room uh, until like 7 p.m., <laughs> 7.30 when we went out for dinner. And even at that time, it was 32 degrees. Yeah, it was incredibly hot. At night though, it cooled down yeah. to about 25 degrees. So you can see the variance is just mad. 25 degrees to 45 mm. degrees, all in a matter of 24 hours. And to explore Kiva, I think one day is sufficient. I think one evening and one day is sufficient to explore. Yeah, and uh, of course the life in the city comes out when there are people here and right now we wanted to see the monument so that's why we came early but in a, probably a few minutes you should be able to see what Huge we really crowd. came here to see. <laughs> We came here in the morning only because we wanted to show you some of these monuments so empty and without any crowd. But then the life of the party in Kiva begins in a few hours and then we will see what that looks like. All of these houses that you see here were actually mud houses that were built back in the day dating back to when Kiva was originally built. So all of these have remained today and you can see that the typical shape here is a dome. And the reason why they use domes is because in this desert heat and in this desert cold that has proven to be one of the most effective structures of construction. All the houses here are built with clay, mud and straw and water. The initial layer is filled with bricks and then they are plastered with this coat. It keeps the house cool I guess during summer and it's all organic. There's no paint or cement or anything used to build them. It's so cool. A two-humped camel. I think this is called a Bactrian camel. He's just waking up. That's right. Scratch it. <laughs> so we just got these hats. These are traditional Uzbek desert caps. And uh, we had seen them in Russia also. But it looks like the man gets this color. The woman gets a white one. Namneet finally has curly hair. <laughs> And this is where we are staying inside the old town. This is right inside the fortress, so you don't have to pay a ticket price if you want to come to the hostel. So it's actually free to be here. And it's around 200 meters from the Kalta Minor, so it's really close to all the attractions here. And another advantage is in the night, you don't have to come in and go out. Everything's like right around you. So when you step out of the hotel room, you find all of these monuments lit up already and it's just right there. Plan now. Breakfast. Wow. We've got some variety. We've got Ooh. some bread. I think this is eggplant, tomato, everything is still fried and garnished with coriander. We've got some milk biscuits. We've got salad. And we've got hottie. So they just give sticks <coughs> of coriander and we just bite it and eat it with our salad. What do you call coriander that wants to act in Kannada movies? Okay, what is it called? Kotambarish Parama. <laughs> Want some tea, my friend? Yes. Well, this is the good stuff. Yeah, I know.
Yeah. Now we are back on the move. It's around 7 o'clock and it's time to explore Kiva during the sunset hours and at night. So, interesting thing. We expected it would be really hot but I think there's been a bit of cloud cover as you can see and therefore the temperature isn't actually so bad. I hear something. Can you hear it? Yeah, we hear something. I think you'll like this one. Let's go fast. As you can see now, all the shops have lined up and Shish is ready to shop. But there's no budget. What did you buy? Just got two postcards. Do you have fun? Oh yes, I did. Did the introvert in you come out? Yes. <laughs> that dance just lifted up my mood so nicely. This is what happens in Kiva every single day and you should not miss your chance to visit Kiva when you are here in Uzbekistan. But next time you are in Uzbekistan, definitely add Kiva to your list so that you can see this. this and definitely spend the evening and the night in Kiva. Don't yeah, miss that. at least one night. Yeah. And right now we are walking on the central alleyway. Uh, this leads from the entrance there, the south side, all the way till the north gate. And so, what you see behind us is the Kalta Minor. It's still so pretty. Yeah, I mean the best hours are probably at sunset when the light shines off of the tiles very beautifully. And this entire place is filled with so many shops and lots of things that they're selling but nobody's pushy like yeah. nobody throws themselves on you to buy something it's very calm it's very peaceful and and all the shops here actually bring out more color to this place and it still looks prettier <laughs> that's the one in the back we have something exciting to share and that's these postcards so we picked up two postcards and two of you who are watching this video will hopefully get it very soon so all you have to do is just leave a comment on this video and then we'll pick randomly two people and then we'll send these out to you now Meet will write this one and i will write this one <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the other way around so this is a postcard of the Kalta Minor, what we saw today morning, but it's in winter, so you have snow all around. It's such a unique experience, I bet it would be so nice I to know, see it. Yeah. I can't believe we missed such an opportunity. And this one... And is this is from inside a mosque in Rajasthan. This is called the Tilakori Madrasa. We had actually seen this in our Samarkand video. So both of these places are incredibly beautiful and hopefully it comes home to you. Comment below! 
Shish is passing on her compliments to the lady. We are doing what you asked for. We are making a time lapse. But the funny thing is, every passerby is looking at Shish like she is a strange creature. Now it is telling that, you know, I have to pretend like as if I am in a zoo and keep, you know, my teeth wide open and keep giggling and make my eyes Maybe wide. Maybe we'll strike up a conversation with a local who's curious about this South Indian creature which is all the way here in Central Asia. It's too funny. I am passing off as Uzbek on most days so nobody is very curious here. <laughs> Namit is trying to do something. Can you see? He's there with the long stick. All the lights have come on and this again my friends is Kalta Minor. Yes, Shish, what's the plan now? Dinner. Do you have a place in mind? Let's go back to our hotel where we are staying that, is, that has the best food in Kiva. Okay. You get long for just 15,000. Everywhere else it's so overpriced here because this is just built for tourists. But I think once you go to the other side where there are small hotels and homestays, you actually get more affordable stuff to eat. So with that, we come to the end of our vlog today. Hope you guys enjoyed exploring Kiva with us. I know Shish has because she said she came all the way to Uzbekistan just for that chubby minaret. I loved it. I don't mind sitting and watching it for a few more hours. While she does that, I'm going to head back to the room and get some rest because we have an early start to tomorrow again. And we're going to a brand new place again in the next video. So thanks you guys for coming along. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Towered as compared to the Kalta Minor, which is the short, chubby one, and this one is the tall, thin one. Does that remind you of someone hmm. or some two? Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't this tower remind you of old Navneet who used to wear striped shirts?